Logitech has me in a purple pastel hoodie over here. Other than it being pastel, I washed it, dried it, and now it's like I'm wearing a stinking schmedium. Luckily, Logitech paid me $10,000 to get into this sweater. Just kidding. I wish I wasn't. Now, before we dive into these products, there's two things I want to cover here. Number one is the message coming from Logitech about the Aurora line. And stick with me here. I know we want to check out the products, but just roll with me, all right? Don't be skipping along here. So, so they're talking about the Aurora collection. I'm going to read this right from their little pamphlet they sent me, right? Logitech G believes that play should be for all. However, the world of gaming is not as inclusive as it should be. Discrimination is apparent within the gaming space. I might be going a little bit far. I've personally have never experienced that gaming for 20 plus years. But the thing I really love what they're going about here is talking about how gaming should be fun. Play for all. A lot of peripherals are always geared towards competitive play. You know, some of us just like to hop on a game and have fun. Whatever happened to have fun, we're gaming. That's why I game, is to have fun. Sure, I love winning, but again, I think the core is having fun. As far as the message, uh, it's a little bit hit or miss here. Is there discrimination? Yeah, there is everywhere. Have I witnessed it? No, I haven't. But I love the core message about let's just have fun. And the second thing I want to talk about is, give me one second. Oh dear, I got things. Hold on, coming, coming to you is here. Come in, there we go. That is our sponsor with Koval in their GAN 65 watt fast charger. that some of the core features in it as far as like surge protection and stuff a lot of that stuff is key 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 for me again with all these expensive electronics charging at the same time i love the peace of mind right here again i know a lot of us are still using these little tiny things let's go on and get rid of them and trust you me check out this charger links right down in the description now first off i want to kick it off with the keyboards here as you see we have the logitech g713 and the logitech g 715 wired and a wireless version. Now, taking a look at both keyboards, kind of hard to differentiate one from the other. Again, one is wired, one is wireless. You do get your USB cable within both of them, and then both of them include this plush cloud looking wrist rest. I absolutely love this thing. Yo, it is so soft and it's just aesthetically cool. Now it's not cloth or anything. I don't know if the camera can pick up the fabric type here. It's like that uh, plastic coating. I don't know what the heck you call it, but again, it's really nice and very easy to clean. Now coming back over to the keyboards, talking about them looking similar here. Again, we have the wired version with your USB-C port right on the backside. Coming over here, you got that stock ergonomic incline, then two pop-out levels of feet. You're taking a look at this clear ring all around it. I'm gonna show you that in a second. That's really, really cool. Coming over here to the wireless version. Again, how you're gonna differentiate it is on the bottom, you have your dongle, little dongle storage right there on the bottom. Of course, you got that RGB ring and then the two levels of pop-out feet. So this is where things get really juicy with the Aurora product line right here. Check this out. You can just pull off the top plate right there. Well, why are you gonna pull off the top plate, you're probably asking. Well, Logitech's actually gonna be offering different color variations for you to make the keyboard yours. Now that I look at this, actually, uh, the wireless version actually has battery and caps lock, so there is a way to tell the difference between each of them right here. But take a look at this. We took off our white top. Let's go on and slap that green top on over here. We'll pull off the white top of this one. Bam, slap on the pink. Say if you got the green keycaps and slapped it on here, if we took our pink keycaps, slap it on this one. It's just so awesome, and I think the options are limitless. I know what you're thinking, technically, that pink and pastel green may not be my vibe, you know what I mean? And I really hope Logitech kind of jumps on this and say, hey, where can we really take this, you know? Maybe get a black, white, and red type of theme going on. But looking at the keyboards again right here, as you can see, a lot of features on them. You got this nice volume wheel over here, which is rubber coated, very nice and soft to the touch, but it is free rolling. It's not like tactile or clicky or anything like that. You 
got your media controls over here, which are hard tactile buttons, not soft or mushy. Over here, you got gaming mode and then your lighting mode, same on the wireless one. And as I showed you with the wireless one, you do have your dongle underneath, you still have a USB-C port, and then you also have wireless and Bluetooth. Now the keycaps across these boards are double shot PBT shine through keycaps right along with the replacement sets that you get. They will also be double shot PBT. Very thick, very nice, durable keycaps. I absolutely love them. Now looking at the wired version, we have red switches. Over here on the wireless version, we have blue switches. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love the way this keyboard sounds. Mainly the red ones. I'm not a blue tactile clicky fan at all. I really don't. But as far as the core board itself, no case ping, no nothing. It's just a really solid, thocky sound. It sounds and it feels great. And then, of course, price. The wired one is gonna come in at 170 bucks. The wireless one is coming in at $200. And then of course the accessories and everything will be priced to their own. All links for all that right down and below. But let's go on and take a look at the next product. Now let's go on and take a look at the gaming mouse in the Aurora collection, a G705. As you can see, it is wireless. It is also Bluetooth with up to 40 hours of battery life. And taking a look at the weight of the mouse, we are going to check in at 84 grams. Now looking at this mouse, yeah, it is smaller. Here's it just sitting in my hand just to give you an idea. It is smaller, but it is very ergonomic for those smaller hand or smaller mouse users. It sits in it very comfortably. Thumb wraps right into there. And again, your side buttons are right on the side. And then you have your one or two. Now you do have that pastel kind of embedded in it on the side buttons and the scroll wheel and everything like that. And on the buttons on the bottom. By the way, very nice big feet on the bottom right down here and it is charging by USB-C. Now again, talking about the shape, for me, if you got bigger hands, it's definitely gonna be into that fingertip. As you see, it's barely coming into my palm, but like I stated, it's a very comfortable mouse. If you have smaller hands, I think you're gonna absolutely love it. Or if you just like that relaxed fingertip, I think it's gonna work out great for you there as well. But clear as day, it is definitely smaller. And for it being such a tiny mouse, it is built very solid. It really is. I don't have any creaking, no flexing anywhere around it. Now I do have some one and two play, as you see right here, it's sliding in and out. Now when I just regularly press it, it really not hitting each other, but it is getting awfully close. This is me just hitting the buttons regular and you can see them coming very close to each other up there. Now, as far as the G703, again, not the mouse for me right here. You all know old Techni loves a plumper mouse, but if you got smaller hands, hey, it might work out for you. By the way, you've seen this mouse pad down here. They're also gonna add the, uh, or have the mouse pads in the Aurora collections as far as all the colorways as well. And the G705 is coming in at $100. Next up, let's take a look at the G735, the headset in the Aurora collection. Inside your box, as you can see, you get your detachable USB-C cable, your detachable microphone, your USB dongle, extender or router right there and then you get your dongle the one thing i really love taking a look at this dongle this is something so simple but i always ask for every company to do it is list the product on the dongle so you're never putting your dongle in a wrong spot misplacing or misusing your dongle i stink and love it now i know you all are going to want old techni to really dive deep into this headset here but unfortunately i'm not i still need a little bit more testing with it i'm sorry it'll be early next week but i want to talk to you about some of the core components of this number one logitech will be offering replacement ear cushion as far as the Aurora colors. I believe right now it's like the pink and the green and then the white right here. Now looking at the headset, as you see, you have that full swivel just on these metal arms over there, which I really like, but unfortunately, whenever you push it in, as you see, it just kind of comes out a little bit. So it doesn't hold its spot great, but I really love the design. It's simplistic, it looks elegant. I, I just love the flow of it. Coming up to the headband, headband is a little bit firmer. They did this so it doesn't pull on hair. I don't gotta worry about that. But it is clear as day difference from the headband being firmer over to these ear pads, which are incredibly stinking plush and very, very stinking cozy. Now they are fully pleather outside and in, so yes, also 
your ears are gonna get quite spicy. Now looking at this headset, you have a lot of controls over here, right? You got your power button, you got your mic mute button, you got your volume, which is tactile and clicky. Again, you got that detachable microphone, USB-C charging, which you get up to 56 hours without the RGB on on these guys. Coming over to the other ear cup, you have Bluetooth, and then you have your volume rocker A to B, which is gonna control Bluetooth to your game audio or whatever. So you can give it more Bluetooth volume or more game audio right there so you can adjust that and then again your core volume over here now taking a quick look at the weight of this headset we are gonna come in at 266 grams and really the combination of everything as far as build and style and comfort of this headset I really like it when I put it on it's incredibly lightweight it's built fantastic I don't get worried about it and I just honestly love the aesthetics of it. But please do subscribe and hit that bell because I will have the detailed review coming on these the following week. I just wanted to show you the core aesthetics and build of it. But anyways, this is the Logitech Gaming Headset in Aurora Collection. And this guy comes in at 230 bucks. Whoo! Oh, hold up. You can also get this nice heart-shaped case for your headset. The one thing Techni has always wanted is a heart-shaped case for his headset. Look, you can even store your little mouse in here and everything, it's really soft. Just take your headset, put it in here, get your mouse, put it in there, I'm off to the races. And as you saw in the beginning, yes, they will also be offering the Blue Yeti microphones in the Aurora colorways as well, so you can get your whole setup rolling together. And talking about getting your whole setup rolling together, can we take a second to take a look at this lighting? RGB, it just, again, is it my vibe? No, no question, it's not, right? But oh my gosh, the flow of it is absolutely gorgeous. It really is. And yes, you can dive in to the Logitech G Hub and just get some basic red, blue, or green if you don't like this flow. But golly, this thing just puts me at ease with this nice subtle lighting. Now, even though that gorgeous, calming lighting we just saw across the products put me at ease, there's actually two things that really do not put me at ease. Actually, there's three. Number one being this stinking hoodie here, this purple pastel hoodie that has me sweating like crazy down here in the south. I got all these lights on. I need to finish this video so I can get this off. But seriously, the two things that I don't really like about this collection. Number one, as you caught throughout this video, these products are priced pretty steep. I understand there's a lot of innovation in them as far as the lighting, the swappable plates, over here the, the, the ear cushions, how they adjust and move around in there. I understand that. Number two, what I don't like about the collection is, and I understand it in, in their message, it's some of this right here. A lot of it's geared towards the ladies, the girls, not pulling hair. Well, I mean, come on, a guy's got more hair than me too, right? But as far as the colorway, I feel like we still should have, I don't think black, is a competitive or a guy's colorway. I don't think solid white is a competitive or a guy's colorway. I think that's neutral. Guys, girls, whatever. I think everybody can get down with a white or black peripheral. And I feel like that's an area that's missed right here. Every product has that touch of pastel on it. And I think that's gonna kill it for a lot of people. I really do. I think they should have had that option for a solid white or a solid black. Cause again, we all wanna have fun. We all wanna game, but I think we're excluding some people from the collection. But all in all, there we go. The Aurora collection from Logitech. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, because I will be covering the headset a lot more in a detailed review coming next week. But I need to get out of here. I need to turn off these lights and get this stinking hoodie off. No joke, guys. My back is so stinking wet. Make sure to subscribe, and I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.